In this video, we'll be going over the signature moves for all of Ash's Pokemon. The moves that I'll be looking at are the ones that these Pokemon are the most famously known for using. Some of these are pretty obvious, I mean, just look at these guys, what do you think they're gonna use? But others might actually surprise you, so let's not waste any more time and get started. We begin with Ash's Kanto Pokemon, and first up, Pikachu, whose signature move is Thunderbolt. It's his go-to and usual finishing move. It's so special in fact that it's the move needed to use its ultimate finisher, 10 million volt Thunderbolt. It does not get any more signature than that move. Next is Butterfree, and for its signature move, it's a tie between Sleep Powder and Stun Spore. They were pretty much used interchangeably, which is why they share this slot. Following that, we have Pidgeot, with its signature move being Whirlwind and Gust. It was only really useful when it came to blowing away Team Rocket's smokescreen or straight up blowing them away. So like Butterfree's moves, these were also ones that were basically interchangeable as they were used in very similar ways. Bulbasaur's signature move is Solar Beam. Sure, it probably used Razor Leaf and Vine Whip a lot more, but Solar Beam was almost always its badass finishing move. Now Charizard is an interesting one. Right away, I imagine everyone's gonna say that Seismic Toss is its signature move, and why wouldn't it be? It's Charizard's epic finishing move. Unfortunately, in black and white, they thought it was a good idea to replace this iconic attack with... Slash. Why? So because of that, I'm gonna have to go with good old Flamethrower as Charizard's signature move. You know, the move he's always blasting Ash with. Squirtle's signature move is Hydro Pump. This is yet another iconic move from the original series due to how Squirtle gets inside his shell and shoots out of his shell hole, that sounded weird, while spinning around like a damn Beyblade. Now for Kingler, I'll be going with Crab Hammer. It's a move that's exclusive to Crustacean-inspired Pokemon, which makes it stand out compared to all the other Water-type moves that have been used by Ash's Pokemon. Primary signature move is Thrash. I mean, it's literally all it did in its debut episode, as that's what the Pokemon is known for. Next is Muk, and his signature move is Body Slam. That's literally all he does when he sees Ash. And Professor Birch, apparently. Tauros' signature move is Takedown. It's a move that fits perfectly with this Pokemon. Lapras' only move until the Orange League was Ice Beam, so yeah, this is its signature move. Shout out to its Ice Beam slide in Ash's race against Sissy though, yet another iconic moment. Snorlax's signature move is its devastating body slam. Getting hit by this almost always meant a defeat. As memorable as this is though, an honorable mention goes to rest, as Snorlax do be napping a lot. Next are the Jotomons, with Heracross having the signature move Mega Horn. With it being one of the most strongest bug moves, it makes sense for it to be Heracross's most memorable attack. Bayleaf's signature move is a tie between Razor Leaf and Vine Whip. Both of these moves work so perfectly with Chikorita and Bayleaf's design that it used it all the time. Then there's Quilava, who didn't have Flame Wheel as its signature move because it didn't actually learn it till Diamond and Pearl, so instead it's gonna go with basic ass flamethrower. And even more basic is Totodile, with Water Gun. Yeah, he didn't have the most impressive moveset. Now, Noctowl was a bit tricky as its moveset got a complete overhaul in Diamond and Pearl. All these moves were brand new and were only used during this one time, so it isn't really fair to pick any of these. Instead, I'll go with Foresight as it's the move that came in clutch in Ash's gym battle against Morty. And then we have Donphan. Come on now, this one is pretty obvious. It's Rollout, guys. Now time for Ash's AG Pokemon, starting with Best Bird Swellow, having the signature move Aerial Ace. This is its most reliable attack, and I'll never forget when Ash first taught it to him. Sceptile's signature move is Leaf Blade. Need I say more? Yet another iconic move that fits perfectly with the Pokemon itself. Now for Corefish, I'll be going with Crab Hammer. It's a move that's exclusive to Crustacean inspired Pokemon, which makes it stand out compared to all the other water type. Hey, wait a minute! Then there's Torkoal. I would have gone with Smokescreen, but it never actually learned the move. So again, I'm gonna have to go with Basic Ass Flamethrower. Glalie's signature move is Ice Beam, as that's the move that Ash spent a lot of time teaching it as a Snorunt. And lastly, Apom. While with Ash, its signature move was Focus Punch. It came in clutch in a lot of early Sinnoh battles. Speaking of Sinnoh, it's time for Ash's DP Pokemon. Staraptor's signature move is Brave Bird. Thanks to the help of Paul's brother Reggie, Ash was able to teach it to Saravia, and it quickly became its best attack. Next is Torterra, and although Synthesis is a move that's always been used since its debut, I'm gonna say Energy Ball is its true signature move. It's the move he and Ash spent some time training to master, and seemed to be his go-to attack going forward. Now we've got Infernape, with its signature move being Flare Blitz. Finally, it's not Flamethrower this time. Flare Blitz is an attack that spun off from and replaced its previous signature move, Flame Wheel, so it's pretty much just an upgraded version of that attack. 
Blazel's signature move is an obvious one, Aqua Jet. It's a move that's almost synonymous with the Pokemon itself. We even got to see some variations of this move like the Spin Aqua Jet and the Ice Aqua Jet, which just made this move even more memorable. Next is... Gliscor! And this was a tricky one. None of its moves really stand out and scream Gliscor, you know? But in the end, I went with x Scissor, as it's the move that Ash helped it master before allowing it to evolve. Then there's... Cabal! And no move is more memorable than its infamous Draco Meteor. The unmastered version quickly became a running gag in late DP, but eventually became a devastating attack once it was fully mastered. Truly iconic. Now it's Unova time, with Unpleasant going first. Its signature move being Air Cutter, a move it's known since its debut that it used quite often for the little battle time it got. Oshawa's signature move is a no-brainer, it's Razor Shell, yet another move that was literally made for the Pokemon. Pignite's signature move is Flame Charge. It's a move that it learned thanks to Don George's training, and it's become pretty memorable thanks to its animation of stomping to charge it up, only to launch it right after. For Snivy, I decided to go with the track since it was something that was very unique to her, until a bunch of other black and white mons started to use it. Man, this series loved using a track. Next is Scraggy, and its signature move is Headbutt. That was literally his whole thing since he hatched. He just headbutted everyone he made eye contact with. Levani's signature move is String Shot. Not the most badass move, but he did use it in pretty interesting ways. Palpatode's signature move is Mud Shot because of the way it whipped its tongue to use it. That was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Boldor's signature move is Flash Cannon as it tends to use it a lot during its debut, and you know, Team Rocket also tries to catch a bunch of Rog and Rolla to create this ultimate Flash Cannon, so uh, yeah. And Crookedale's signature move is Stone Edge. Not only is it its strongest attack that actually took down Iris' Dragonite, but it's also the move that it used epically in the battle against Bryson's Bear Tick. Now it's time for the goaded Kalos Mond. And first up is... Satoshi Gekuga whose signature move is Water Shuriken. It's a move created specifically for Greninja, and it gets even bigger and stronger thanks to the power of the Bond phenomenon. Talonflame's signature move is Flame Charge. It learned it after evolving into Fletchender, and it's been a staple of its moveset ever since. Then there's Halucha, whose obvious signature move is Flying Press. Thanks to Ash's help though, he mastered the more stylish, spinning version of the move. As for Gudra, its signature move is Bide. This Pokemon was known for its tankiness, which made the move all the more stronger since it could take a lot of damage. Just look what it did to poor Clement's Luxray. And lastly, there's Noivern, whose signature move is Boom Burst that was strong enough to damage a Zapdos. Now on to Ash's Alola Pokemon, starting with the god Rowlet, with its signature move being Seed Bomb. Its unique way of using an Everstone to perform the move is simply too hilarious not to remember. Lycanroc gets two signature moves, being Acceleroc and Counter, the two special moves of Midday and Dusk Form Lycanroc. Incineroar's signature move is Fire Fang, the move it trained hard to learn from its late mentor Stoutland. Until it's revealed to have learned the move Darkest Lariat, this is the move we're gonna stick with. Naganado's signature move is x Scissor, and this is the move that it used the most when it returned to help Ash battle Professor Kakui. And then there's Melmetal, with the signature move Double Iron Bash, the move it came up with all on its own after evolving. Lastly, we have Ash's Journeys Pokemon. Dragonite's signature move is Dragon Claw. Although it has devastating moves like Draco Meteor and the Hyper Beam that never hits, Dragon Claw is definitely its most reliable attack. Gengar's signature move is Shadow Ball, as it's the move that becomes its special G Max move, G Max Terror, when it Dynamaxes. Lucario's signature move is. Do I even gotta say it? It's Steel Beam, I'm just kidding. It's Aura Sphere, obviously. And thanks to Greninja's training, now it has that Super Spirit Bomb Aura Sphere, so you know that move is top tier. Come on. Signature move is Meteor Assault, the signature move of Surfetch in the games. If I'm being honest, I was actually waiting for it to finally learn this move before I actually make this video, because obviously, that's its signature move. And last but not least, Draco Vicious signature move is also its signature move in the games, Fishius Rend. Yeah, that's how it's actually pronounced in English, according to the dub. Not Ficious Rend, but Ficious Rend. That's weird. And there you have it, all the signature moves for all of Ash's Pokemon. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you disagree with some of my choices, let me know what moves you would choose instead. Remember to live your life to the fullest, and have yourself a damn good one.